March is National Nutrition Month, and you don't have to be a chef to have good food, but there is a direct correlation between what we eat and the diseases of our time. So all month long, we're focusing on this topic with our health insider, Dr. Shad Marvasti. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. So let's talk a little bit about the relationship between diet and diseases, because one absolutely leads to another. Absolutely. And the reality is, is that we don't really focus on this in conventional medicine, right? We, we do medications, we do surgery, and nutrition is really kind of an afterthought. Um, yet there's a, a great need for it because medications alone aren't going to solve our problems. And there's also a dark side to that, although they're life-saving, you know, 60% of Americans take at least one prescription drug, but it's, it can be up to the fourth leading cause of death um, fresh just from the adverse effects of these drugs. So looking at food as medicine is really important when you realize that there's a big link. Research has shown that in, in the United States and around the world, the leading number one uh, risk factor for premature disease, illness, and preventable death is actually diet. So even though dietary risk factors are even a bigger risk factor than even tobacco smoking, bigger than high cholesterol, high blood pressure, all those things that can actually be impacted by your diet, but the diet itself is the root cause, we're not actually using food as medicine uh, in medical schools. And that's something that I'm trying to work to change. Yeah, I know that you do have a program with medical students at the University of Arizona to do that. The question I think a lot of people are gonna have is, can you really use food as medicine or are we just talking about you know eating a little bit more salad no absolutely you definitely can in fact the best way to understand it is that the opposite is also true so the standard american diet is sad as i like to say and the reason why is that it's over 64 percent processed foods or franken foods food-like substances so these aren't really foods and these processed foods have been actually linked to the diseases of our time, increased risk for diabetes, heart disease, obesity, cancer, and even weakens our immune system um, because the standard American diet is high in refined sugars, excess sodium, uh, and it's low in fiber um, antioxidants from plant-rich food, plant foods like uh, fruits and vegetables, and low in healthy fats, all of the things that we actually need. And so when you shift that, right? And you use diets like the Mediterranean diet, which we talked about last month for, for heart disease, right? Then you really do have food as medicine. It actually applies across the board through all the diseases of our time. So we really can use food as medicine and it is really powerful. So as we move through this month, we are going to be taking a deeper look at the relationship between food and diabetes, as well as cancer. But just as a final jumping off point, let's say I'm stepping into the store this evening, what are maybe some basics that I need to start including on my regular shopping list? Definitely add at least one or two more servings of whole vegetables and whole fruits to your diet. Look up different recipes that are related to it. Go to the produce section and then read labels. Look for added sugars. Look for um, ingredients that you don't understand. If there's excess added sugar and there's ingredients that you can't pronounce, or your grandmother wouldn't recognize as a real food, then it's not something you should be eating a lot of. And definitely we're gonna start busting the myth that healthy food doesn't taste good. So that's our topic all month long with our health insider, Dr. Shad Marvasti. If you have questions or other medical related topics that you'd like to see him address, make sure you email us healthinsider at abc15.com. Dr. Shad, always a pleasure. Thank you, Noelani.